Hi there, I'm just creating this video because we have lots of questions about when a hedgehog should be rescued and what weight they should be during the winter months. We get this, uh, at this time of the year, we get lots of phone calls for hedgehogs that are underweight. Um, most of them are, but few of them aren't. So um, I'm going to briefly talk about some key weights on when hedgehogs should be rescued and when they should not be rescued. Um, this information is, has come from the British Hedgehog Preservation Society um, and it's been uh, collated from a few other sources. They've got together and they created this document based on their um, experiences. So this is a really good document. It's aimed at rescue centres, but it's actually a really good document to kind of talk to you about because um, it's very difficult to know when uh, a hedgehog should be rescued over the cold months, the hibernating months. Now, regardless of all these weights, um, if you see a hedgehog out during the day, um, it's probably going to need a rescue. If you see a hedgehog limping, uh, blood on it, you see flies around it, around it you see a larva, um, you see it wobbling, lethargic. Um, there's a various uh, bumping into things. Uh, there's various reasons, regardless of weight, when a hedgehog does need a rescue. Um, so we're not talking about that. We're talking about a healthy hedgehog with no issues, and it's out in the evening time when it should be dusk, um, starting to forage for food, and they do that all night. So that's what this is for, specifically. So from this document, um, 450 grams or less... Um, at the point of where a hedgehog is hibernating, so they are actually hibernating, and um, the way you can tell a hedgehog is hibernating is they're curled up really tightly into a ball, really tightly, you can't see their face or their limbs, um, hardly moving, their breathing slows down dramatically. Um, sometimes they look like they're dead actually, but sometimes when you disturb that hedgehog or you touch it, what it will do is it will suddenly breathe, <gasps> like a breathe in and out and make a, make a small sound. It, sometimes they may do that, sometimes they don't do that. So if they are hibernating, that's about all they will actually ever do if they are disturbed, um, but they don't all do that. Um, so when a hedgehog is hibernating and it weighs less than 450 grams, it's unlikely to survive. Right? That's a key weight there. So the greater the weight, the more chance they have to survive. But there is no evidence of this, so I, I don't actually know. But it, it kind of makes sense that the greater the weight, the more chances it's going to have to survive. They do and can do survive winter weighing less than 600 grams. So a hedgehog weighing less than 600 grams can survive hibernation. 52% um, of juveniles, for example. Juveniles have a bit more of a hard time hibernating. They are like teenage hedgehogs than adult hedgehogs do. And the juveniles, depending, sometimes you get late autumn um Hoglets, and they become a juvenile in the winter months, which is not good. Um, so they have they have a hard time surviving the, uh, the hibernation process. But anyway, so they can survive less than hit 600 grams, but the statistic here is saying 450 grams, they're probably not going to survive. So normally <clears throat> a hedgehog weighing less than 450 grams in October to February time, um, Depending on the weather, so um, that the weather means if it's freezing cold, a foot of snow on the ground and everything else it is very bad. But then again, if you're feeding the hedgehog and uh, every night, and even though it's 450 grams, but it's still coming to your feeding station, munching away at your food, it's probably going to be okay. Um, if it's not, it doesn't have any food source at all, it's going to be in a bad situation. So less than 450 grams in October, they're recommending it should be rescued. Now, we tend not to rescue... If the hedgehog's around um, 420 grams and stuff like that, we tend not to rescue them, um, especially if they're... Well, at the moment, the weather's not actually that cold. It's quite mild. But especially if they're being fed in the garden, there's no need to... They'll, they'll gain plenty of weight um, by the time it comes to winter, like mid-December, where it's like freezing cold. Um, they'll gain enough weight to, to, to be a safe weight to hibernate. So um, at 500 grams plus, it's not necessary. It's unnecessary um, based on their weight alone at this time of the year to, to rescue a hedgehog. So um, 
Unless, of course, they're injured, uh, which is not good. So injuries, limping, things like that. They'll, they'll always need rescuing regardless of weight. At 600 grams plus, it's counterproductive. So 600 grams, if you use a hedgehog at 600 grams in the winter months, and it's out in the evening time and it's eating, um, even if it's freezing cold outside, it's counterproductive to rescue that hedgehog. So it's strongly discouraged. There we go. So the uh, when you when we rescue a hedgehog, um, regardless of the weight, um, that entire process is stressful. Um, they're wild creatures, so although hedgehogs actually, when you pick them up, they they tend not to be too bothered about picking up, but it is a very stressful um, process, uh, the rescue process, going from uh, uh, you know their natural habitat into a cardboard box or carrier and then that carrier going into a house and that house going to a rescue center driving in a car and bumping the rest of it and then the rescue center going to a hutch or into another place and then you know uh, from there staying some period of time then being released and going that whole process is can be quite stressful so um rescues of hedgehogs if they don't need rescue in so 600 it's not a good idea to do it full stop it really isn't and not only that if a hedgehog is less than um so let's say a hedgehog is, let's say a hedgehog is this this weight 450 grams or less and it, it may need a rescue um if that hedgehog has to drive so we get calls for hedgehog rescues all over the place recently all over the place and some of them are like miles away and you know like in, uh, so 100 miles or something like that to drive a hedgehog a hundred miles to a rescue centre is not a good idea. If you if you have a hedgehog that needs rescuing, please find a local rescue centre and uh, just keep trying. I know a lot of them are quite full at the moment, but it's really not a good idea to to transport a hedgehog halfway across the country to a rescue centre. There has there's there's over six hundred and fifty rescue centres in the whole UK. And if you find the British Hedgehog Preservation Society, they will put you in contact with a local rescue centre to you. So, um, yeah, don't drive, don't drive halfway across the country um, for, for rescuing a hedgehog. It's it's not a good idea at all. So anyway, this information I will link this in in this video. I'll put links in the, to the document, and you can have a. It's a really good document, very basic, but it gives you some rough ideas of weight. So, uh, at the moment, we're we're in the end of October, and we're rescuing hedgehogs at the two hundred late two hundred gram mark, two hundred and seventy gram mark, something like that, um, just over the three hundred gram mark. You know, that's the sort of weight we we will rescue a hedgehog, but the, it's highly likely. So when um, so when a, a hedgehog is in captivity, as in a rescue centre, um, we can bulk up the weight of a hedgehog very quickly like very very quickly a lot quicker than they um will ever gain weight out in the wild so it's um it can be uh it, they can gain weight very very quickly so more often than not if they are underweight they can be released straight again as well um straight back into in the winter time or before winter time and could be completely happy um sometimes <clears throat> depending on their weight or how much weight they gain uh they will have to be overwintered in a rescue center um, because it's too dangerous to release them back into the world as they won't have enough time to find a nest and it's too cold and the, and they're not enough weight. So we have to wait until the springtime. So it's quite a long time that a hedgehog can be in um, a rehabilitation. So if they don't need a rescue, it's best not to rescue them. Right, now to safely to find out how to safely rescue a hedgehog um, and find out um, the weight of a hedgehog when it needs rescuing, if they're smaller than a tennis ball in size when they're curled up, they will need a rescue. That's too small. Other than that, it's very difficult to know. But you can find out how to weigh a hedgehog safely without disturbing their habits. And I received an email from Roger recently and he brought in some underweight uh juveniles and he sent me this link uh which i have seen this before and i have seen this done before but this is actually a pretty good example because what this is basically is um so roger has a feeding station in his garden and on top of the, uh, underneath the feeding station he has some scales when the hedgehog goes onto the feeding sta station or the bowl they tend to if it's quite a big bowl they tend to put the whole body in the bowl when they're eating and um, at that point they can be weighed and so um i think roger has 
uh, experimented slightly with this for different scales and he's come up with postal scales being the best way of doing this. I won't go into the detail about how all this is done but if you, I will link this article and you can have a read about this and you can probably even message Roger directly um, through the link I give you. So this is a really good and here's a video of it. I'll play a small chunk of it. The hedgehog's jumping onto the food bowl. The weight goes up. And there we go. We can see that hedgehog's 514 grams. Great. Perfect weight for a hedgehog. No problem at all. Having a good munch in the food as well. <clears throat> so, and now, and the, as far as the hedgehog's concerned, it has no clue it's being weighed or even being videoed as well. So this is a really good way of figuring out whether a hedgehog does need a rescue or not. So um, it's a bit of a, uh, a challenge to do this, but I'm sure um, there's other guides. But the one that Roger um, came up with was a pretty good guide. So I will link that. And there's a video on that. There are also alternative ways to, to do this, a lot more complicated. And this um, article that's on our website was from a few months back, actually, last in January. Um, and this is so there was someone that messaged me, I can't remember how, um, about something. And um, I looked at their website and it was this Wilderhood watch in St. Albans. And I saw this hedgehog house that they did a few of. And this hedgehog house, so this is a, um, someone who's voluntarily making these hedgehog houses and they're putting out a certain location to weigh the hedgehogs. They're very complicated, this, but it looks awesome. I really like this. So this house, um, hedgehog house, has a, the whole of the base of the head house is a scales. So as the hedgehog comes in, uh, there's a trigger because there's a changing weight and um, there's a plate on the bottom of the hedgehog house and then that then registers the weight of whatever is in there, hopefully a hedgehog, and also takes a photograph of hopefully the hedgehog. If it's something else, obviously you'll see it because there's a photograph being taken. It all does that automatically. And it's powered by a solar power. It's wireless, connect to like your phone and stuff, send you a ping on your phone. Um, uh, it's really cool. And... Um, yeah, so it, it it's uh, it's really I mean, it's done by Raspberry Pi if you know what that is. Uh, here's a cup, you know, he's got an example of a cup in there weighing and stuff. Brilliant, this is very very complicated and probably nothing that sort of ordinary person can come up with. But um, this is brilliant. I really like this. So yeah, so this is another example of how to do it um, without disturbing a hedgehog uh, in their natural habitats as well. So yes, I hope this video was useful. And uh, I hope this answers some of the questions that people have. So thank you very much for listening. And I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.